What's up, Whoopers? It's Vice here, and we're looking at a Pokemon card that was released in, in 151. So, not just the Stigglypuff, but of course, the, the Wigglytuff here, the Wigglytuff EX. So, kind of an interesting card. Uh, it's stage one, so not too difficult to get into play. It's got a very interesting ability here, Expanding Body. If it's got a special energy attached, it gets a plus 100 HP. And then this attack here, which uh, requires three colorless energy, 90 plus, 90 more if you play to support her. So a couple of conditions attached to the text on this card, attached to the ability and the attack, but uh, very compelling on both sides because, you know, you really want to be using a supporter every turn. And uh, being that it requires all colorless, it invites the use of special energy anyway. Uh, special energies such as double turbo. So, um, it, it's a very interesting card. Hasn't really seen a lot of play, but as a bit of a thank you to a really generous uh, viewer on Twitch, Mr. Jiggles, we've created a deck based around a, a Pokemon inspired by their namesake. And Jigglypuff, I'm told, is one of their favorite Pokemon. So, um, you know, this is Wigglytuff. And what we've done to support it right, to, to get this one going, is we're using the Zatu. So the great thing about the Zatu is that it can power up any Pokemon. You attach the basic energy from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon, um, and if you attach the uh, energy in this way, you draw two cards, right? So it means that we've got a Pokemon that, that fills the, the energy acceleration and the draw in one bench spot. So normally, the, the approach would have been to use the other Wigglytuff that accelerates the therapeutic energy. However, the, the problem with that card is that that ability, you know, it can only accelerate one type of energy. It doesn't get it from the deck. You have to have it in your hand. That energy, being that it's a special energy, you can only have four of in the deck, and that ability doesn't draw cards. So even though it shares that evolution line, we're opting for the Zatu here because it just does everything that we need out of um, out of that ability, out of that slot on the board, so to speak. Now, it doesn't end there. So you've got your Wigglytuff, you've got your Zatu. What else do you need for the deck to, to survive and thrive? Um, I've got a very interesting tech here with the Toad's Cruel EX. So with even with all the HP that the Wigglytuff has, it is very susceptible to the likes of Roaring Moon. So I've got the Toad Scroll in here. Protective Mycelium prevents the effects of attacks used by your opponent's Pokemon done to all of your Pokemon that have energy attached. So you whack down the Toad Scroll on your bench, you attach an energy to it, your opponent has no recourse there, no way to sort of uh, try and knock it out in one hit with with the Roaring Moon um, because the, the uh, Frenzied Gouging will, will have no effect. And then that means that your Wigglytuff will be able to leverage its high HP in that matchup the, the way it really wants to. And then just a couple of other ideas here. I've got the Deoxys here. It's just nice to have an attacker that's a single prize attacker. Helps you preserve your energy on the board and hits for some okay numbers. And then uh, a couple of last tech Pokemon. The Manaphy here. Pretty much an auto include. It's way too important to be able to protect your bench from 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 damage. And then the Dunsparce here is a nice little surprise for anybody who's trying to get you with the, the, the fighting type Pokemon, which do hit Wigglytuff EX for weakness. Over on the trainer side of things, I'm opting for an Arvin based approach. So we've got the Arvin, we've got just one technical machine. I would love to have two in the list. And I, I sort of invite you to make the cuts and find the room. I, I keep it at one because I, I think the deck does need a little bit of luck and for things to just go your way for it to succeed. Um, so, you know, I've had to try and make concessions here and there with the space. Team Evolution at one, it's a little bit risky, but I will say that the deck is perfectly capable of setting up without the TM Evolution as well, as long as you've got like some of the other cards that you need or, or have in the deck um, available to you. Um, four Iona here for, for the Shuffle Draw. Avery here, a nice little tech card with draw power. 
two bosses orders and just the one counter catcher the reason why i've gone with that um split is because of course you want to be using supporters every turn so it, it sort of goes to figure that sometimes you you're going to want to play the bosses orders anyway we got the arvin here uh, i mentioned it before but very important four of to be able to search for whatever it is you need throughout the game and to be a, another proc for your friend tackle um and i'll run the tulip here so the thing with tulip is that in the mid game once you see a few energies hit the discard pile um tulip is very handy at being able to recover those energies put them straight back into hand and use them straight away with with the zatu and, and put them back into play and it can get your zatu pieces back as well very very nice um a couple of rods to get your your cards back and and just a couple of artisan to help you in the the stadium war and to get your basic pokemon back into play it is uh, a deck that is relying on via vip pass now you could just swap it with poffin when it comes out so you know look forward to that and then a couple of earthen vessel here to help you get those energies out nice and fast i could see myself wanting to cut this for like a fog crystal until rotation hits of course but uh, just a couple of earth and vessel here for now and then over on the energy side I've gone for a bit of a funky split here 10 psychic energy I just find that having a high energy count makes things flow a bit more nicely a little bit more consistent a couple of double turbo because sometimes you just need the energies uh, straight away you know sometimes you can afford to hit for 160 and then you know come in with a non double turbo empowered wiggly tough uh on on the back end and the other special energy that we favor for that purpose is the luminous energy because of course you can also use this to power up your deoxys or you could use it with your zatu if needed right you, you don't necessarily need to but if needed it's there and you could use it um there is a, a possibility that you could try and work with colony rush but the thing is is this attack requires you to have grass pokemon on all your pokemon for uh, that attack to sort of do any work anyway so colony rush is not really a consideration um despite running the luminous energy anyway so uh, a roundabout way of saying i'm not going to consider putting grass energy but because the psychic energy is just way too important um and so that's it for the mr jiggles deck uh i've got a game coming up which will demonstrate how the deck sort of works on a good day and uh thanks again to mr jiggles for for so kindly uh gifting so many subs to the community over on twitch uh i hope you enjoy the game and i'll see you in the next live stream or video i stream on twitch multiple nights a week and i'd love to see you there all right thanks all goodbye enjoy see ya i then bought 200 codes um Oh, sorry, 400 codes for celebrations and redeem them all. And that's basically how you get them. So you are just a little bit... Um, you're just a little bit too late. Uh, Vumsh. But I'll, if you wait, uh, I'll run another raffle. And we'll... Um, we'll do it. Um, I don't know if it was to incentivize, but um, it was, like, needed, I guess. Um, they, they needed to compensate people for, you know, basically saying, okay, well, show's over with PTCGO, come on over. You only got into the game like four months ago. Well, you know what? I, I would say that you've come in at a good time. And yeah, sure. Like you, you missed out on like the the uh, you know Omega Epic. Um, um, rewards for transferring from the old game, but. Uh, I, I would say that it's not too hard to get up to speed and at least have like 
you know, uh, my, my advice would be to just play every day, do your dailies. You know, try and do as much of the battle pass as you can. And after a couple of iterations, you'll have, like, enough cards to, to get it in there and to play. Um, try and, like, just have maybe one or two decks. And then, you know, the, the rest of it's your oyster. They're out of here, Jiggles. Don't worry. Don't worry. Slowly buying the celebrations. Yeah, there you go. What's what's my peak rank? I think I peaked at sixteen hundred. Um, the the thing is, is because uh, I'm a streamer, I got to play a lot of different decks to keep things interesting, right? I can't always play the same deck. Although stream will also tell you that I have I have gone long stints playing um, uh, some of the more boring decks. To, to try and rank up, or maybe not necessarily to rank up, but uh, I have I have put some amount of focus into them. Now, speaking of focus, let's let's focus up a little bit here. We're gonna VIP. I'm gonna want you and you. I see no Greninja on this board, so we don't have to worry about that. There is a Mew though, so we'll we'll just keep that in mind. I'm gonna put the Arvin. Arvin gives us the TM and will give us the Earthen Vessel. Although we do have an Earthen Vessel in hand, so maybe the, maybe the VIP is what we want. VIP. Take the last Natu. Mm, actually, no. We'll go, we'll go Jigglypuff because we only have two Zatus. Oh, no. We have Zatu in hand. Okay. We're going all in. We're going all in. TM Evolution. Basic energy. Boom. Evolution. Yeah, it's wiggly tough. Yeah, it's wiggly tough. You may not like it. You may not like it. You may not be ready for it. But it's here. Um, yeah, 1600 was pretty good. I think... Um, what was the meta at the time? I think it was before... Uh, so it was the Silver Tempest uh, meta. So before Scarlet and Violet came out, um, pre-rotation. So and the deck that really got me that high in the ranks was Arceus, Duraludon, Umbreon. So uh, basically, Lost Zone box was very rampant at the time. Very very rampant. And so what I was doing is I was playing a deck that had so much HP that the, the Lost Zone decks couldn't handle it. Ah, Iron Valiant with Zatu. Cool. Arc Dura seems fun, but you can't play it. How come? I guess part of the problem is that deck rotates. The Draladon is a single strike deck. Oh, Draladon is a single strike Pokemon, I should say. So I think it's out. Yeah. Arceus stays, but Draladon's out. Let me draw that raffle, by the way. All right, let's let's draw it. The winner is. Sorry to keep you waiting. I've got to refresh my page, and the winner is. Post. Hey. Congrats. Everyone, everyone say congrats. Congrats, post. Congratulations, post. Well done. Um. <laughs> there you go. All right. Let's, let's do another one. I have to, mm, I know I keep mentioning it, but like Streamlabs didn't used to be like this. So I'll go complete. Start a giveaway. All right, here's the new one. So if if you would like to be in the running, please type exclamation mark raffle, and we'll get you in there, and you can win win some codes. Please enter, please, please, please. I've bought these codes for you, for you. Okay, so I want you in there. There we go. Yeah. Alright, come on, bro. Pick a prize card. They all look the same. They're all the same. Look, you haven't seen them. Okay. 
Bumba. So we do this. All right, I got the the luminous. Wait, I can't do that. Oh, <laughs> oh Mr. Jiggles, you are you are far too kind. You know, that's so many. That's so many. See, we meet again, like we promised. Thank you so much. Um, hey, I'm just realizing that I need Toad Scroll for this matchup. See, we meet again, like we promised. I really wish I'd thought of putting down the Deoxys to deal with more Peko. Uh oh. Hmm. <laughs> That's fine. See, we meet again, like we promised. So many. Thank you so much, Mr. Jiggles. For for the really, really generous contributions. See, we meet again, like we promised. All right, all right, I got a strat. I got a strat. We retreat the Jigglypuff into Wigglytuff. <laughs> and then we go boss. <laughs> and we'll target you. Because we'll be doing 180. And then we're going we're gonna to do this. I have to get rid of the Luminous Energy, unfortunately. Dude, I prized the Toad School. No, not the Toad School, dude. See, we meet again, like we promised. And we prized it. Oh well. <laughs> there it is. You are late. Zenadeus, heading off. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed your time here. Mr. Jiggles, thank you so much. How many of you donated now? That's crazy. 128? That's unreal. That's unreal, dude. I really appreciate the support, you know. You know, a, a, a few days ago, I was looking at that number, and it was like 20. And I, I was pretty happy with that. That is a lot. If you, if I think about, like, every single individual who has put up their hand and said, yeah, I like Vice's content. The emotes are cool. Vice is a pretty cool guy. I'm going to contribute. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sub. Um, yeah, it's super kind. I really appreciate it. And now, and now Mr. Jiggles has just come in with the, the spirit bomb, right? The massive, um, the massive contribution. What's the point of Toad Scroll? To stop this. To stop this. If we had Toad Scroll down, they would not be one shotting the Wiggly Tough here. Yeah. It is quite annoying. So there is a world where we revenge KO this, but it would require. Oh, we could kick it. We could kick it. We could kick it. Are we going to try it? Shall we try kicking it? I think we should. Because that would be funny. Okay, we want to put it down anyway. And now we want to draw. Actually, I'm going to manually attach. And then we're going to iron it and see what we get. You're going to go down to three cards, so enjoy, enjoy that. 
Or Rod? What does Rod give us? Rod gives us Deoxys and a couple of energy. I'm down. I'm down to Rod. So Deoxys, couple of energy. Actually, we can Psy Punch them now. This is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. It worked out. It worked out. It worked out. Uh, hitting the Super Rod there was perfect. Because now we go Clairvoyant Sense. Dude, okay. Wigglytuff? Okay. Punch. Alright, let's see you... Let's see you hit the counter catcher. Alright, without a stadium. Without Mew. Let's see it. Let's see it. Hey, Blueberry, what's up? Hello. Vumsh, you, you run Mimikyu for these decks? Yeah. Actually, Mim Mimikyu would probably be pretty handy as well. You want to play a game, Flex? Yeah, I think so. I think we can play a game. I, I just want to get in, like, one good ladder game with Mr. Jiggles here with Wigglytuff. And if we can, um, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good about this one. We, we've got them in a tough spot, right? If they don't have the tool for Roaring Moon, and, and they just go for Frenzied Gouging on Wigglytuff, I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, ooh, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Uh-oh, I don't know about that one. I don't know. I don't know about Squawkabilly. Wait, did they leave? Surely you promote the more Pekko. Ooh. Wait. Have they got have they got a strat? Cause maybe they they're they're angling to attack with more Pekko somehow? I don't know. I don't know if promoting squawks is the right idea. I don't like that. Nope. No, I don't like all those cards going straight into the hand. So you got switch cart. But where where's your where's your cross switcher? Where is it? Anyone see cross switcher? I see it in the discard pile. Any cross switches? Anyone see any? Oh no. They might be can't find it. Where is it? Where is it? So, if they can't deal the Toad's Cool, all we gotta do is we have to and it Zatu energy onto the Toad's Cool, DTE onto Wigglytuff, and then we're in really good shape. Yep, yep. I think we got them. I think we got them. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Come on, bro. Think it through. What's the play? What's the play? Surely that's not the play. Surely the play is not to do nothing. Bro. Um, I'm going to discard the Wigglytuff and this. I don't know if I need Manaphy. But I don't think so. They got no play. No play, no hope. Is what I'm thinking. Recently, people have been doing nothing. Really? I wonder what the strategy there is then. Let's see if we can draw into the Luminous Energy so we can we can be like max power. No. That's fine. Um... See, let's retreat. Boom. You gotta play the Arvin because you gotta do something for friend tackle. Counter catcher. Kind of down for super rod in hand, to be honest. Just in case. It's 
still at that because you never know. You never know. I don't want them to have Pokey Stop. Okay, friend tackle. And now what will you do? <laughs> and here is the boss's orders that I prepared earlier. If it attached from discard pile, it would be insane. Motivate? Oh, you're talking about Zatu twitching? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, that would be really strong if it did that. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know why. I, my mind went to, to Squawk ability. I was like, I'm pretty sure that's what Motivate does. I don't know why I was thinking about that. Yeah, of course. Clairvoyant sense. Yeah, it would be it would be so strong if it did that. Ooh, well, that's a shame. Um, I I think the writing was on the wall. We had our opponent. We had them. GGS. So, how about that? We got the Wigglytuff, the Toadstool, the Zatu, even the Deoxys had a go in that game even the deoxys had a go so um that might be as good of a game as we ever get on on the ranked ladder with this deck because you know I, I like it right wiggly tough is sick 350 hp friend tackle 180 for three energy it's colorless so you can power it up with double turbo uh but it does it does have a few weak points and we try our best to mitigate them where we can um, yeah, well, it's a fun deck. If you enjoyed this, maybe hit me with a subscribe on YouTube or follow me on Twitch where I'm live multiple nights a week. I'd love to see you there. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.